Sleepwalk by Ultravox. We're talking to Chris and Midge. Chris, a long time no see. We met in London a little yeah. while back. Physiopsis. You were telling me prior to starting that you, Chris, your second name is Cross, Chris Cross, and there's Christopher Cross in the States. Apparently you get his mail and his royalties, is that correct? Yeah, I get, yeah most of his royalties in, uh, in London, and uh, I've, I've told him not to send it to me. They, <laughs> they keep apologising. So I said, well, you know, if you want to do it, you can do it. And how do you sign your name? Similar? Like you whip down the bank and I say, just, thank I you, just, I'll take that. Just put it straight in the bank. <laughs> good man, good man. Mitch, how have, the tour, how have the places, the cities in Australia treated you on this tour so far? Very well. It's been fabulous. Mm. We've had a great time. Do you get the similar reaction here that you would get back in England? Yeah. Um, obviously, when, you, when you're touring about, the reactions tend to vary. I mean, right. we're, we're going to Japan just after, after this, and I know what the reactions are like. Which there. could be a bit different. Well, yeah. it's, it's just very funny. They're very reserved audiences. Right. I mean, they, they're very polite and they, yeah. they applaud, but they're not allowed up out of their seats. The things that I've really enjoyed here is the fact that um, as soon as we walk on stage, everyone's on their feet, you know? Mm. There's nothing worse than playing a seated venue and, and everybody's still sitting there when you walk off at the end of your hour and a half set. Yeah, it's but it's been real, it's the been only real time good. they're allowed up there is to go to the loo, you know? That. <laughs> really? So, so don't worry. A few groups come through and go, we just did Japan, and yeah. they wouldn't stand up. We died they, miserably. That's cool. <laughs> this is the way they normally that's are. Right. What about New Zealand, Chris? Well, we was really surprised because when we first landed, it was, I mean, it's very Victorian and it's mm. almost like a Victorian seaside resort. And, uh, and we just didn't know what to expect at all. Right. I mean, because we don't really see anything in New Zealand and everything went incredibly well there. What size audience? Oh, about five foot. <laughs> yeah, they're about five and a half. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're bigger than that over there because I know. No, we, did the, we did the uh, Sweetwaters Festival. Yeah. That was, uh, That's what I was trying to get. 35,000, I think, 35. this year. Because it seemed like last year they, they, it was open, you know, they just wouldn't let, uh, there was no restrictions at all. Mm. But um, they put restrictions on it this year. Last year there was something like 60,000. It'd be nice being there. Well, have you always been a fan of Ultravox? You always wanted to get in there? No. <laughs> no, not How at all. did it come about then? You have a great past. Tell us some of the things you did before mm. Ultravox. Uh, so we've got a spare hour or two. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've got a start, couple. <laughs> I started uh, my musical career in a, a teeny bop band, a pop band, Slick. Mm. Uh, right. That was in 75, 76. Um, and then when they split up, I joined up with Glenn Matlock from the Sex Pistols mm -hmm. and a band, uh, The Rich Kids. Uh, that lasted a couple of years. Um, and then at that point, I, I didn't really want to join another band, so I formed the, the whole basis for the Visage uh, studio project. Um, and through that, I worked with Billy Curry from right. Ultravox, you know. Right. Uh, all the music up until that point, the, the Ultravox music, I wasn't too knocked out with. I thought it was very confused, a bit mixed up. But Systems of Romance, the last album they did with John Fox, I thought was was really good. Uh -huh. um, and that's when I started listening to the band. And of course, working with Billy, it became so obvious that uh, I should actually do something. Now, you didn't appear on clips uh, with that group of Visage that you'd put together in the studio, did you? No, no, I would. Why I, not? I, um, well, uh, we we didn't. I, I mean, I've got I've got enough of my plate working with with Ultravox. I mean, this is my, my main thing. Uh, the Visage thing was more. Uh, I was more interested in the production side of it. You know, I produced the albums and uh, put the, the whole thing together and the songwriting. And I'd rather leave the uh, the, the the face of Visage, if you pardon the terrible mm. pun, uh, to Steve Strange. I mean, he's he's good at doing that. I mean, we 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 work in um, behind the scenes. We do. I mean, Chris and I have just directed the new Visage video. Right. You know, so we're, we're, we're involved behind uh, behind that. But, but as for appearing in the videos, you know. In fact, we have did, both, both of us appeared in, in the last Visage video, but you saw our backs for about three seconds. We were dressed up as uh, bellboys, yeah. <laughs> we couldn't get him to do it, you know, so we did it ourselves. Steve Strange is the front of that group. You're now with Ultravox doing extremely well around the world. What does the future hold for Ultravox? Just as quick as you can, if you will, guys, because we're running out of time. Certainly. Um, we're, we're going to Japan, as I said earlier. Uh, when we get back to Britain, we start writing for the next album, and we're going to start uh, working out who we're going to do it with, where we're going to do it, and when. Right. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's another few months in, the, in a, a dingy studio for us. So we're looking for a new album That's it. from Ultravox. Good luck with the rest of the tour. Look forward to the new album. Good to see you again, Chris. Right. And pleasure Thanks. to meet you, Mitch. Thank you. Ultravox, and we'll get